questions. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You all know that I spent 10 years in law enforcement and another 12 years in the military. And that leads to some pretty interesting questions and some comparisons and contrast. You see, a lot of times, military and law enforcement are compared to each other. After all, they both wear uniforms, they both do tactical training, they both have to go through uh, rigorous entry-level training. But there's differences between military and law enforcement as well. Military is what I call the outer perimeter. They go overseas to other countries. They protect the outer perimeter of our great nation. And when they deploy, when they go overseas, there's typically one goodbye, and then they're in the combat zone for however long they're in that zone. And that leads to one of the differences between military and law enforcement, because law enforcement, well, goodbye, takes a toll on law enforcement. The things that they see, the vicarious trauma that they carry with them is not without cost. You see, in this nation, law enforcement's life expectancy is 21.9 years lower than that of your average citizen. Law enforcement retirees die 10 years sooner than other retirees. In fact, for every year that an officer stays in the profession after 20 years, it's typically an, a year taken off the end of their life. So if an officer stays for 25 years, that's five years off the end of their life as compared to the average citizen. Law enforcement officers suffer their first heart attack at the age of 46. For the average American, it's 65. And in their average career, a law scene, she knew the driver was gone. But she pulled him out of that car anyway because she told me in his final moments she didn't want him to be alone. She knew there was nothing she could do for him, but she didn't want him to be alone. And then a few months later, she sat with his family for two hours and shared laughter and tears of someone she had never met before, but with whom she, in that terrible moment, made an incredible human connection. And in that act, healing happened. And those are the stories of law enforcement that we don't often hear. Those are the burdens they carry for us. And so today, I think it is only right and fitting that we take a moment and we remember them. We remember their sacrifices and remember what they've done for us. I'm very honored today to have some guests with us of the Arvada Police Department who was killed on September 11th, 2022. Police officer Dylan Vakoff was killed while responding to a domestic disturbance in the 6700 block of West 51st Avenue at about 1.40 a.m. He and another officer were attempting to break up a fight between the family members when one of the involved men opened fire, wounding a woman who was involved in the disturbance. The subject then exchanged shots with Officer Vakoff and another officer. Officer Vakoff was mortally wounded before the subject was also injured. Off Open the machine and members proceed to vote. Representative Morrow, how do you vote? Yes. Representative Morrow votes yes. Representatives Bradfield and Taggart. Representative DeGraff. 
Representatives Bacon, Epps, Garcia, Herod, excused. Story, excused. Please close the machine.